And uh, while well, we continue, with, uh, uh, we've got um, Gerard in studio at the moment. He's uh, Gerard Bootwater, CTO of uh, PBT Group. Well, Gerard, we're talking about uh, big data. Can you define big data for us? Um, well, big data is about uh, technologies that allows corporations to um, analyze data they haven't been able to do so in the past. Um, and it could be uh, various kinds of data. So you, in the past, we had very structured data, very databases uh, based on transactional information. But um, uh, currently, we're looking at more unstructured data as well. We look at something like sentiment analysis, Twitter feeds. Um, we're looking at uh, documents, uh, all sort of information coming in. Uh, but big data is not only limited to that. It's also to do with uh, the vast volumes of data and the velocity of data that we're getting these days. So there's so much data out there with technology even making it even uh, more. So what is so new about uh, big data and how should uh, hedge fund managers or even asset managers yeah. take note of this growing phenomenon? Um, uh, the big thing about big data is that it is um, allowing this new um, uh, collaboration uh, happen in organizations. So you bring data in from various sources mm -hmm. and you bring out a single answer to the organization. So it creates a situation where you've got a symmetry of information. So it means that uh, if you know more about your customers, you know more about your market than your competitor do, then you've got a competitive advantage and that is what big data will give you. And. Uh, you know, looking at uh, big data, what kind of insights uh, do they provide for someone looking to get into investment or to giving mm. them some sort of investment perspective? Um, if you look at the various kinds of information, uh, if you look at market sentiment, for instance, mm -hmm. um, there will be a lot of noise being created before the market actually moves. So if you analyze the data and you uh, look at historic trends, if you bring it all together, then suddenly you will have insight into your markets. You can see where it's, where it's going to go, and you will have a, a advantage that you can move before the market does. Um, so if you see, uh, see lots of negative sentiment around mm -hmm. uh, China or Greece, um, then you know maybe it's time to sell. Uh, maybe sell short and you'll make some money. Indeed, I was uh, about to ask you for a case study on how this big data can be used to the benefit of yeah. asset managers or even fund managers. Um, well, one of the, the examples that you can use um, is if you look at where people do their research, um, if you understand where people go for information, then you can utilize that um, source and analyze that source and then uh, try and find patterns in your data. Mm -hmm. And once you understand what the patterns are, then you can actually use that to actually increase your revenue on your particular hedge fund. And looking at data and analytics, how does it fit into the bigger picture here? Um, uh, the data and analytics, um, it's, it's a growing space. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's um, in creating a new environment, um, creating new opportunities in uh, understanding your business. Um, so if I look at where companies used to be about five years ago and where they are right now, mm -hmm. uh, in the past IT used to be they talk about a different language than business do. Uh, but these days, business talk the same language as IT. So everybody's thinking about how to utilize data assets. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got various kinds of data assets in your organization that um, companies realize that they're sitting on. And so we, we're trying to monetize the data assets. So you need a business cap to understand how do I marry my business and my business opportunities with my data? Mm -hmm. And that is the new uh, analytics space where it's coming in and you, you need more analysts in business to actually understand data and understand how you can leverage off that to uh, increase your revenue. So we're going to be seeing more growth coming out of this. Absolutely. Indeed. Thank you yeah. so much for joining us, Gerard. That was Gerard Buerta, CTO of uh, PBT Group.